So to begin with, it was just a, a tickly cough uh, and a bit of a headache, no more than that. Uh, but after a couple of days, it suddenly kicked in. I, I was just in a terrible way. I had an awful pounding headache. I was shivering, even though I had loads of layers on. The cough became constant. My pulse uh, oximeter showed that my blood oxygen levels had dropped below 90. My temperature went above 39. And that's when the ambulance came and took me to a hospital so they could give me some oxygen, get my uh, rates back to normal and send me home. I spent about six hours in uh, Worcestershire Royal. I'm somebody who is ordinarily very healthy. I think I've had flu twice in my adult life. Uh, I'm not somebody who gets respiratory illnesses. And yet here I was completely laid low for uh, a good 10 days. And, and at its worst, you know, I had to go to hospital. Uh, it was a horrible, horrible experience. And, and nobody should take this lightly. Uh, at all. I think that in Worcester and Worcestershire, we became very complacent. We had nine months where our figures were much lower than anyone else. Uh, and very few people probably knew anybody who'd got it. And I think people became blasé. Uh, and the last three or four weeks have shown what that can mean if people stop behaving themselves and bend the rules a little bit and, and meet when they shouldn't. And that's why we've got such high levels in Worcester and Worcestershire now. Uh, we're amongst the highest in the country. And the problem with that is, if you look at places like Wolverhampton and Leicester, um, which have had high levels, they never get them down again. And that means that we're potentially going to be, even when we come out of lockdown, in the highest tier for a very long time, unless people really, really abide by the rules, take things very carefully, do the things they're supposed to do. Uh, and just stop the spread of this awful disease.